Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about really one of the most important things ever, right? And you know, it, it's important to know all year round, but it's especially important to know around like Easter time, because at Easter time we're celebrating the fact that, that Jesus not only died for our sins, but then he rose again from the dead, conquering sin and death to save the world from our sins, the ultimate sacrifice once for all. And I wanted to talk to you about the fact that that it is only through Jesus Christ that we can be saved. It's only through Jesus Christ that that we can go to heaven. Now, it's really kind of a popular thing these days to like just let people believe their own truth, you know, their quote unquote own truth. You know, it's like a big thing to find your truth. And that that leads people to think that Christianity is just as true as any other kind of truth. But there really is only one truth. Sometimes people say that, you know, so long as you're a good person, you'll go to heaven. Or, Or so long as you're following a God, you're following the God. Or so long as you really, really believe whatever it is that you really, really believe, then you'll get to go to heaven. But that's not how it works. You know, there's this joke at my house that anything in the world can be fixed with some duct tape and a coat hanger. My dad's amazing. He can, he can literally fix just about anything with some duct tape and a coat hanger. But the truth is, is that he also really can't fix anything, if we're being honest. Right? It's just like patching it up. It's sort of fixed. It kind of works, but it really is not fixed. And the truth is that all these other religions, all these other quote-unquote truths are just duct tape and coat hangers. Right? It can kind of it can kind of patch things up and make things kind of feel like they're working, but they're not. Right? Like other religions and other again quote unquote truths can can get a lot of things right. Like a lot of things. But when it comes right down to it, they aren't the truth. The fact is is that either Christianity is right or it is wrong. And if Christianity is right, then none of these other religions can be right. None of these other truths can be right. Now, that might sound kind of harsh, but it's the way it is. You know, before Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins, he was talking to God and he was saying, you know, if there's any other way that we can do this, let's let's do it that way. But not my will, but your will be done. And there wasn't any other way. The penalty for sin is death, eternal separation from God. And every single one of us has sinned. It doesn't matter how good of a person you are. We've all sinned. And so the penalty that we all deserve to pay is eternal separation from God. Now, Jesus never sinned. So when he died, there was no penalty for him to pay for himself, but instead he took on our sins onto himself and paid the penalty for the sin of the whole world. And the Bible says that if you believe in him, then you will be saved. With all these other religions, all these other quote-unquote truths. It's all about, like, being good enough. Like, well, you know, this is pretty good. It's good enough. And that's exactly, you know, how it is with, you know, duct tape and coat hangers. It's, It's not actually fixed. It's just, you know, good enough. But good enough is not good enough. There's nothing that you can ever do to be good enough. And so we all, every single one of us, have to rely on Jesus. We have to rely on him and his goodness and him and his sacrifice that he made for us. These days it seems like harsh to say that there's only one truth, but there is. There's only one God. There's only one Savior. There's only one name by which we can be saved, and that name is Jesus Christ. And a lot of times people will say that telling anyone that they're wrong about what they believe is wrong. Like it's a bad thing to do, which is a little bit ironic because if they say, you can't tell people that they're wrong, then they're telling you that you're wrong. But the truth is that, yes, it can be very easy to be mean and cruel about how we share the truth with people, and we should not do that. But it's also mean and cruel to not share the truth with people at all. It'd be like if you're on a plane with a bunch of people and you're going to go skydiving and you see that, that you've got a good parachute that's been checked, checked, and double-checked and the person next to you just has a whole bunch of duct tape and coat hangers and they say, oh, don't worry, I'll figure it out. It's not kind to just say, oh, yeah, probably. The kindness is to say, oh, 
well, maybe you should put that duct tape away and grab one of these parachutes that works. And in that metaphor, the only parachute that works is Jesus Christ. That's it. It seems harsh, but it doesn't have to be harsh. It's actually good news, because even though we're not enough, Jesus is. And he offers the gift of salvation freely. So I really hope that if you, if you haven't yet, that you will believe in Jesus Christ. Because it's only through the power of his blood that you can be saved from your sins. It's only through the power of his blood that you can go to heaven. And if you've already received that gift, my challenge to you is that you would share the good news of Jesus Christ. Everybody's trying to be good enough. But the truth is that good enough is never good enough. But Jesus' sacrifice, the blood of the Lamb of God, that is more than enough. You know, at Easter time, we, we always share the story of Jesus' death and resurrection. And we hear that truth, and then we just go home thinking it's the same as any other old quote-unquote truth. But it's not. It's the truth. The story we hear every year at Easter is talking about how God brought about the one and only way that we can be saved from our sins. The one and only way that we can live forever with God in heaven. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And I really, really hope that you will believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior. He's the only way to heaven. It's not by being a good person. It's not by following a God. It's by believing in Jesus Christ to save you from your sins. And if you already believe, I really hope that you will share that good news with others. It can be kind of scary because we do kind of live in a culture and a climate where people don't really want you to tell them what's true. They want to believe whatever they want to believe. And so we need to be kind and, and tactful about it. But man, people are jumping out of planes without a parachute. And it's up to us to do something about it. Let's share the good news of Jesus Christ.